Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and today is day 58 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on recognizing God's hand in my life. So yay for day 58. So today I did something spontaneous, which was fun and completely crazy and probably very irresponsible, but it was fun. Um, <laughs> And I'm just so grateful to God for helping me remember to have fun in my life and that it's okay that I can have fun, but also helping me to be okay with being responsible as much as I don't want to be. So today I decided to kind of look into transportation, getting a car, getting something to get me to and from work and where I need to go because I need a car. Because I don't want to have to take the bus and pay tons of money for Ubers to get places here, there, and everywhere. And and I don't have any money right now, so I was like, I need something. So I did a bunch of research, kept getting dead ends with everything, and I ended up going to a dealership today, which I wasn't really planning on doing. It just kind of happened that way. And I got to drive a Jeep, like this big yellow Jeep. And the, <laughs> it was so much fun to drive. It was like six... Six gears, I think I got into fifth gear. I didn't get all the way to sixth gear because we didn't, when we were on the freeway, but it was just kind of a get on, get off thing. So I didn't get all the way to sixth gear. But I was like, this is actually kind of fun. And I forgot how much fun it was to drive a six shift and how much fun it was to drive a bigger vehicle. And it was just so much fun. And I, I had so much fun and I'm so grateful I got to do it. And I knew I wasn't going to qualify for the finances to get it because I, I didn't online. And of course, when I went in in person, I'm like, nope, don't qualify. And I was like, yep, I already knew that. But they let me drive it, and I was like, yay, they let me drive it anyway before they even knew if I was qualified. They're like, here, let's just test drive it, and then we'll see. I was like, yay. So I got to test drive it. But I also noticed when I went to do it that I tried to get into the Jeep, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's up way high, and the step to get up is like way high, and I was like, I'm going to hurt myself trying to get in and out of this thing all the time. And the back seat is really tiny, so I'm like, my kids aren't going to fit in the back seat. Um, my son, my middle one, he's really tall, but he'll fit in the front because it's, it's much higher ceilings, a uh, roof for the, the Jeep. So I'm like, oh, he'll fit better. So that'll be nice. But I'm like, he'd never fit in the back seat. And there's not even doors to get in the back. So I was like, yeah, this really isn't um, the best vehicle to get. And of course, the gas mileage is horrible too. It's like 20 miles per gallon and like whatever driving on surface roads or something like that or, or no it was like 20 on the freeway and it was like 15 on surface roads and I was like man I would spend so much in gas having that thing but it was you know it would have been fun and that was the whole point it was fun and frivolous and I'm like I'm gonna make this crazy frivolous purchase just so I can have something that I want and something fun but um I was so grateful I just got to drive the jeep I didn't buy the Jeep or anything like that because obviously I didn't qualify for it. But I'm also so surprised and very grateful that the guy that was helping me, he's like, okay, you don't qualify for this because of the situation, but let's find something you do qualify for so you can still have a car when you leave here. And of course, it wasn't exactly what I wanted and I didn't actually get to leave with it, um, but he did find something that is decent sized and I mean, it's bigger than my my little Honda Civic that I had before and it's white so it's a lighter color and that's those are my biggest concerns after my car accident is like I want something a little bit bigger that's not going to smash up quite so easily they all smash up quite so easily but I want to feel a little bit safer driving and um I don't know bigger vehicles make me feel safer for some reason or other <laughs> plus I also want something that people are going to see even when it's dark outside instead of like oh it's a black car and I just didn't see you so boom I was always afraid of that before and then it actually did happen. So I was like, yeah, that was not fun. So I just don't want a repeat of what happened. But I think being able to drive that Jeep, being able to drive that Jeep was so much fun and it was big and it just, it kind of took away my fear. Like when I got on the freeway, I wasn't scared at all. And I was like, I could totally do this. And I was comfortable and I was having fun and I was enjoying driving again. And I am so grateful for that because I've always loved to drive and I've kind of lost my love of driving since driving. 
Um, and since this car accident, and I was just like, I didn't even want to get a car after the car accident. I was like, nope, not going to drive for a while. And I've been praying that at some point I would overcome that fear and I would enjoy driving again in my life. And today I enjoyed driving. And I'm not going to say I'm going to enjoy driving every single day and I don't necessarily enjoy driving in traffic. But to just have a brief moment where that fear getting on the freeway wasn't there and I just enjoyed it. And I know that was a gift from God. That was God showing me that I can have fun driving again, that I haven't lost things that I love just because I was hurt really badly and it's all going to be okay. And it was just amazing to me. And then I just was so happy leaving there. And of course, I'm getting something I don't necessarily want to get. It's not, it's not even a stick shift. It's an automatic. I hate automatics. I'm not a fan of automatics. Um, and then it has those stupid... Um, what is it where they have the you can switch the gears and i was like i've talked to people that have those and basically it's just a little thing on the steering wheel where you can pretend like you're shifting gears and it's really pretending because if you forget to shift the car will still automatically shift for you so it you don't really have any kind of control shifting gears that way and i was like yeah that just totally takes all the fun out of it <laughs> it just totally takes all the control and all the fun out of it but um, I was writing in my journal tonight and I was thinking about it because part of me at the dealership was thinking and I kind of wish the negative thoughts wouldn't pop into my head um, that I just don't want to feel like I'm always settling for something because I can't afford something better. Or I don't deserve something better. I want something better that I deserve. And I I just don't want to feel like I'm, I'm settling. But at the same time, I can't really afford or do something different or get exactly what I want right now. Um, the economy, the prices of everything are outrageous. My credit is horrible because I just haven't, I've been depressed and not cared about my bills, didn't pay bills, behind on bills. It's going to take a while to get things back together. Haven't had a steady income for years. And now I've got a job that will give me a steady income and will allow me to start paying things on a regular basis and hopefully rebuilding my credit. And getting this car is going to help by making regular payments to rebuild my credit. And when I was journaling, I was kind of comparing it to like riding a bicycle. I mean, you learn how to like ride a tricycle or something. And then you learn how to, you know, <laughs> ride a bike with training wheels. Then you get the training wheels off the bicycle and then you just have a regular bicycle. And then eventually you get to like, you know, the 10 speed bicycles are the ones with the different speeds on it and stuff. The bigger bicycles as you get older. So um, there's just different levels. And I was at a higher level, but then obviously I stopped taking care of myself and I'm overweight and I'm out of shape and kind of, you know, I know they say, you know, get back on a bike and you don't forget how to ride. I'm like, yeah, but you get back on a bike and maybe you didn't forget how to ride, but you kind of struggle with the balance and you don't feel as easy and comfortable on it as you did when you were a kid. And it takes a while to build back up to to having that confidence and being able to do all the tricks and all the fun things and stuff that you did. And maybe you never get back to that. I don't know. Um, age has a bearing on a lot of things, but in getting something else, it's kind of like, okay, well maybe I'm going back to not having a 10 speed bicycle or maybe going back to having some training wheels for a while, but I know that they're not going to stay there. I know it's not permanent. I know it's kind of like a stepping stool. It's a step in a direction that I need to go and it gets me what I need, even if it's not what I want. And I'm also so grateful to God for reminding me that my needs are just as important or more important than my wants. And if I'm getting what I need, then it's enough and it's good enough and <laughs> it will work for the time being. And there may come a day when I can get what I want um, that will fill, fulfill the need as well as my wants. Um, and that will come because it's happened in the past and it can happen again in the future. It just takes time and it's a process and I don't get to skip steps even though I want to, but I can get a glimpse of things that I want and I can have some fun with some things that I want in the future and I can know I have things to look forward to. And I'm just so grateful to God for showing me that there's a positive side of things, that I can still have fun in my life, that I can still enjoy driving and that it's okay to get something that works, that's practical for right now, because it's not a horrible thing. And I, it is some things that I want. I mean, it is bigger. It is, it is, it's white. I'm getting a white car instead of a black car. And um, two things for that. One, it's going to make it a little bit easier for people to see my car. It'll 
reflect a little bit more at night so it won't be, you know, like disappearing in the dark. Plus, I live in Arizona and no matter what the car dealerships tell you, black cars are way hotter in the summertime than light colored cars. I know because I had a tan car and then I had a black car. Trust me, way hotter in the black car because um, black just attracts the heat and white does not. So it will keep my car from being as hot and make it easier to cool off my car. So there's a lot of positives on all of that. And I haven't actually been in the car because the yellow Jeep pictures look like it was much bigger like than it was. It was much smaller when I saw it in person. I was like, oh, that's tiny. So it's kind of hard to tell. And all I saw was a picture. I didn't actually see the real thing. And I will go tomorrow and see the real thing. And I can still change my mind. If I decide I don't want it, I don't have to do it. I don't have to go into all of that. I can change my mind. Or I can be like, okay, I am so grateful that I qualify for something and I can get a car so I don't have to keep borrowing um, other people's cars or begging people for rides. So God is totally looking out for me. And maybe it's not all happening in my timeline or how I want it to happen, but it's working out and it's going to continue to work out and it will be okay. And I am extremely grateful for that. And I am extremely grateful to God for showing me that things are okay and things will be okay. And it's just, it's just amazing to me. And I'm grateful for that. And so, yay, I just had a lot of positive things in recognizing God's hand in my life today and and having the strength and energy to go do all of these things that I needed to do after work today and totally surprised by what was there and also realizing that I was open to something new. You know, like there's always that saying, you know, when one door closes, another opens. And um, today I think I really saw that because door closed on the yellow Jeep that I wanted, but it opened on a white car that I'm not really thrilled about, but it will do the trick. And it's probably the best thing for me right now, even if it's not, it's what I need, even if it's not necessarily what I want. And for once in my life, I wasn't so focused on what I wanted and being so disappointed that I didn't get the yellow Jeep that I turned down the white car because <laughs> I was like, all right, I can't get the yellow Jeep, but I can get the white car. So if I can't go through door number one that I want, I will take door number two and it will be just fine. And there's a reason and a purpose for that and it'll all work out. And I am, I'm very grateful for that because <laughs> I know me personally, I usually always get so fixated on door number one that I can't have that I don't see any of the other doors or options in my life. So I'm very grateful to God for opening my eyes today and helping me see that there's other possibilities and that it's okay to have something else. And it doesn't mean that I'm settling and it doesn't mean that I'm taking something that I don't deserve or that I'm less than or whatever else it is. It's not like a punishment for me. If nothing else, it's, you know, it's a step up because it's better than no car. <laughs> So it's a step in the direction that I want to go in my life. And I'm very grateful to God for that. And very grateful for the positive attitude and perspective um, that I am gaining from doing these videos and from paying attention to God in my life and I'm open to those blessings and those other doors and other options besides just the one that I think that I want and, or that I know that I want, but doesn't necessarily work out. So anyway, that is my long drawn out video. And I know that God has lots of options and doors for all of you out there. So if you can't get the one that you want, look around. I'm sure God has something else for you that will work just as well, if not better. And I know that to be true. And that is all I have for today. So if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like it too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and find ways to recognize God's hand in your life too.